My name is Keith Cardi. I'm an assistant professor in the Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy. I hold a Canada Research Chair in Synthetic Biology and Human Health. And so in 2016, when the outbreak of the Zika virus happened, we developed a Zika diagnostic that was very sensitive and allowed you to detect the virus at the point of care rather than having to take samples to transport them to hospitals. The plum can be a benchtop instrument in clinical labs, um, but also it's portable. It has a battery that allows it to operate for eight to nine hours. And so people could essentially put it in their car and be a portable clinical lab. We're leading an international effort to do patient field trials of the Zika virus diagnostics in Latin America, in Brazil, Ecuador, and Colombia. One thing that really attracted me about this project was it was something that could have direct impact right now in this world, and I couldn't say no to this opportunity. <laughs> Back in last summer, when the Zika virus was not break, we used to hear about it in the news, but out of a sudden it just disappeared. But when you go down there, you actually see people getting impacted by these. We saw people in Colombia, Ecuador, and Brazil working on controlling these viruses. And also we can see how our device is going to help them. We spent a lot of time on how we can design this device to be more accessible to users. The molecular diagnostic themselves costs under a dollar, so uh, which is significantly less than the sort of conventional way to do these diagnostics. Having this affordable means that just like your personal phone, you can take it with you to the local community, get the test results, and then start doing the treatment for these patients. The fact that you can now be able to see the spread of the virus and be able to understand who is infected and who's going to be affected, now you can take controls against that. So seeing that impact made me realize the scale of this project. 